In this video, we will implement an example for structural directives. A set of built-in directives in Angular are grouped under the category called structural directives. A structural directive helps to modify the structure of DOM. Let me demonstrate NGF structural directive in this video. In app.component.ts, I have included age with data type as number having the value as 15. In app.component.html, I have included heading for ngif structural directive. Below that, I have included a h3 tag having content as eligible to vote. In the browser, we can see the heading and h3 tag content eligible to vote displayed. Now, I want to display this h3 tag only when the value of age property is 18 or more. For getting this implemented, I am going to add the ngif directive as an attribute in the h3 tag. I am typing space followed by asterisk and then typing ngif. Notice that I have typed i in uppercase and rest all characters are in lowercase. As value of ngif attribute, I am including the boolean expression age greater than or equal to 18. Let us see what happens to the eligible to vote message in the page after I save and reload the page. We can see that the message is not displayed. The display of the H3 element is based on the boolean expression of the ngif structural directive. If the boolean expression is true, the H3 element is included in the DOM. If the boolean expression is false, the history element is removed from the DOM. Now, let me try changing the age above 18. After saving and reload of the page, we can see that the message is now displayed. Let us say that I want to display the message not eligible to vote when age is less than 18. For implementing this in app.component.html, I will copy and paste the history tag below. I am modifying the ngif value as age less than 18. Then I am modifying the content as not eligible to vote. In app.component.ts, I am modifying the age as 12 so that we can check if not eligible to vote message is displayed. I am going to use the save all option in file menu to save both the files. After the page is loaded, we can see not eligible message displayed. If I change the age above 18 and save the file, then I can see eligible to vote message displayed. In summary, the asterisk ngif directive in Angular helps to include or remove a DOM element based on the Boolean expression. Apart from Boolean expression, there is one more approach that can be used with ngif directive which we will see in the next video. Try this example. Include age property in app.component.ts. Include these three lines in app.component.html. Check the display of the messages with age values having above, below and equal to 18.